The Tacoma language is unique in that it is its own language family. There are no other languages even related to Tacoma. The languages around the area include languages from the Hokan family, the Ludamai, the Athabascan, Algonquin. Um, but Tacoma is its own, its own language, and it feels to me, and this is not as a professional linguist, but it just feels to me very old, and that the culture feels very old. And we have characters in the stories, like Rock Old Woman. We have a dragonfly who is a culture bringer. Nowhere else do you find that anywhere in the country. Wow. It's just very, very unique in many ways, and yet also very West Coast and Oregon in, in other ways. It surprised me when you said Algonquin. Uh -huh. I think of that as being in the Great Lakes area. Well, I think the original Algonquins are pretty much where the Bronx is now. <laughs> wow. And as far as I know, the Yurox who speak Algonquin down at the mouth of the Klamath uh, may be the only Algonquin speakers this side of the Mississippi. And within 100 miles of where we sit, there are all these different language families represented. These are not just different dialects of the same language. These are languages as different as, as English is to Mongolian. And so we have an incredible diversity of languages in this area, and Tacoma being kind of unique in its, in its family, unique in its approach, unique in its sound. How did this work with all these people living in fairly close proximity and having such different languages? Well, partly um, there was a lot of intermarriage between the tribes. Uh, Mostly because if you're living in your village, uh, everybody in your village is a little too closely related to you and, mm. and you want a lot of branches on your family tree, right? Right. <laughs> and so there was a lot of intermarriage between, between villages, between tribes. And I use the word tribes in a modern sense. You know, back in the old days, there really were no tribes as we think of tribes today. They were linguistic groups in villages and communities. But that led to a lot of native people being at least bilingual if not trilingual and in addition to knowing the local languages there was also the indian sign language which was pretty universal across the country uh, used a lot in trading especially up at places like uh, Celilo falls up of columbia where many many tribes from different areas all speaking different languages would gather and then of course um, at some point the chinook jargon uh, was developed mostly at the time based on the Chinook language, the mouth of the Columbia River, with only a few, say, Chinook words that everybody learned. But then as the French-Canadian fur trappers came in, a lot of French words were added over a period of time with all those gatherings at Celilo. A lot of words from other native languages in the area were, were added to the Chinook jargon as well. So that was yet another way to, to communicate between tribes.